the uh, principal photography of uh, the new Kogel clip. Um, so we were filming in three separate locations. One was the pool, um, which is where Nick explodes up from being in the ocean into the pool. The, the song's pretty open, which I think, you know, I, I like songs that are just open where people can just have their own stories around uh, around the song and his, his interpretation felt quite um, personal. Uh, the way that I've interpreted the song and the concept that we've built around the song is to do with loss and it's all about uh, going back in your memory and, and thinking about a person that you've lost um, and coming to terms with and dealing with that loss in um, and we've presented that in an abstract way. So. That felt that felt true to the song, but it also made me feel that the the song was actually even. It made, made me feel the song could actually interpret more things than what what it is. We decided to get the clip storyboarded because we knew we'd be shooting in water, and we knew that we really needed to have a tool with us which would be able to easily communicate ideas. So we'd be able to just point to a shot um, and not waste time and energy trying to explain a setup while we're in the water. Well definitely there's, there's elements in the songs like I'm, I'm actually not doing any, any lipping or you don't see me singing or there's no instruments. We sort of want them to go on this journey with him and that's sort of one of the reasons I suppose why there's no him singing, um, no live action of him singing in the clip. We want them to sort of really engage with him and, and get this sense of being underwater. I quite respected that about the script, that it wasn't about trying to portray a band. Shooting in the water was a lot of fun. Um, for me personally, it was a bit hilarious because I struggled to stay down. So someone actually had to hold my head down and, and keep me under there. But um, <clears throat> no, it's really cool. It's a whole different world under there. The light behaves really differently because it's sort of bouncing and reflecting off the water in a, in a whole different way. Nick has been probably the best person that we could have done this clip with. Um, it was an abstract clip. It was a clip that was dealing with the concept that is, um, is quite complex. Um, and Nick really jumped on board with the concept from day one, which was really great. He has had a lot of input with the concept and with the way that we've executed the concept. Um, and I find that, you know, he's really, it's been a very collaborative process. He's really passionate about his art and he's completely all for making the clip and, and the song as best as they can be. Um, we shot it with a really small crew. There was just, um, you know, makeup. There was um, a, a grip, a gaffer, um, myself, Matt DP, and then Nick. And so it was a really small crew, and we were able to work really, really fast. But with a small, vast, and intimate crew, we were able to achieve really quick and really beautiful results. I loved it. Yeah, it, it was definitely bringing it in a in a different. Uh, context and just to, just almost translating a very simple song into a kind of more complex story but that was still quite simple. 